We're here with Connor, and he builds bikes at college. This is a real thing. Connor was just telling me about his high school program. Yeah. Did you do a uh, uh, high school, like a shop class? Yeah, I did high school shop class, uh, as many of them as they let me take. I took them and learned how to weld there, learned how to do machining. Yeah, it's been awesome. Yeah. That's cool. And we were just talking about grades and people stressing out over SAT scores and which college you're going to and whatnot. And I was saying, like, people come out of class and say, listen, you know, it's nice that you care about that, but honestly, when the rubber hits the road, it's about building something. Would you agree yeah, with that? Or? Absolutely, yeah. Like, I I didn't show an awesome uh, ACT score or anything like that. I didn't touch 30. Like, Wait, what's an ACT score? ACT. ACT in the Midwest. Oh, okay. Uh, but SAT is the same thing. Same, same okay. of standardized testing. The test, standardized yeah. testing. Yeah, so yeah, it didn't yeah. do well, no, but it doesn't matter because awesome. what are you up to now? No, now I'm a, a semester, about 20 credits away from graduating with my engineering degree. So Awesome. And you're loving it. I'm loving it. Yeah, absolutely loving it. Wow. Yeah, so. What would you say to a student who's stressing out about all these test scores and whatnot? Yeah, I would say just uh, learning those skills, those applicable skills, um, being able to communicate what you're thinking. Um, just share your knowledge that way and, uh, yeah. and learn by touching and learn by experience and, and building things is nice. uh, what you got to do. So. That's awesome. Yeah. So tell me about this class. So you're in a class and is it part of the, is it a club or is it a class? It's a class. Um, it's a four semester hour course. Um, uh, you can take it out of the engineering car college or the art college. And where is that? Um, University of Iowa. Of Iowa, yeah. In okay. Iowa City, Iowa. Um, nice. Highly recommend it. Nice. Doing his camera yeah, yeah. Nice. <laughs> nice. So you take it and uh, you don't have to know how to weld to start the class. Uh, the first six weeks of class, they really teach you how to weld, teach you how to cut and miter tubing. Um, and then the rest, you get a frame jig to yourself um, and a tube set. And you cut the tubes and weld them. Wow. Um, and you end up with a bike at the end. So, what? Now, is this your bike? This is my bike, yep. Look at this bike. This is beautiful. Yep. And, uh, Very cool. Did you do this? No, the, 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 we bought the, the Paragon. That's the Paragon slider. Yeah, slider, uh, Paragon is beautiful. Yeah. Cool paint job. I like that. Thanks, man. Yeah, nice. I bent the, I bought the chain stays, but I, I bent the seat stays myself in, nice. a, in a mandrel bender. Oh, okay. Yeah. What makes it a mandrel? Is that just it covers both sides, or? Um, it's it has to do with the, yeah the dies, the way right. that the dies work in the bender. Yep. Yeah. And is this this is uh, TIG welded, and yep. this is uh, steel? Yep. This is chromoly steel. It's butted. Um, oh, so is it, okay. So, but it means this is thicker than the center. Yep, is that so why? This this butt comes about here, and this butt comes about here, and then the, and then it tapers and it's thinner. So, um, to be fair to the audience, if you're a high school student, this guy's talking about butted tubes. It makes no <laughs> sense, <laughs> right? It's like, what, yeah, yeah. yeah, like what is that? Yeah, or oh, they're making announcements like, I feel like they're gonna ring the bell for lunch. Like, <laughs> So, you know, it's so bike, silly. Yeah, yeah. Like, uh, you know, detention is being served in the cafeteria today. Get get down there. Anyway, back to what we were saying. Butted tube sounds silly, but basically, I didn't mean to say butt, but anyway, uh, this is thick, so you have a nice weld. Is that yep, why? And yep. then thinner. And so you get rig rigid why do you Why do you do the, bit, the butted weld? Yeah. Um, so it's, it's for a couple things. I mean, it makes a lighter bike. Because a straight gauge tubing is going to be heavier because there's less material in this in the middle. Um, also, the, in, in frame design, they talk about compliance. So the, the frame being able to flex in a desirable way to make a more comfortable ride. So maybe it flexes more in the center, but not near the joints. Stiff at all the joints. Yep, Stiff where you need joints. straight. Yep. So there's a lot of thought. See, even though the bike is like straightforward, it's a bunch of triangles, there's a lot of thought that goes into it. And even though it's pretty refined, a product, it's the same thing since the Wright brothers, right? But uh, but you st you still have room for improvement or changes or customization. Yeah. yeah, this whole show, someone said someone could say, why would you customize a bike? They're all the same. This entire show is custom bikes. <laughs> the whole show. So what do we? So if, so if customization was not important, what are we doing here? Right. Yeah, <laughs> nothing. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Um, and this one is a ti titanium frame. Yep, this is titanium. Yeah. And uh, those who, those people who don't know what titanium is, uh, what, how would you describe the difference between steel? Um, so it's a much lighter, um, and, and it's it's kind of a people in the bike industry think it's like this magic material makes a, a, a nice ride. Yeah. Um, it's it's a little bit more time intensive to weld. 
um, but it, it's also uh, non corrosion. It doesn't corrode. So, right. Yeah. Uh, this guy doesn't have a paint job on his bike. You won't ever have to paint that. It'll never rust. That's amazing. Um, it's made of titanium. That's amazing. Yeah. And is it one class you said that you did this, or is it just yeah. two? It's one class. One class, and it has a part one, part two, or just one? Well, it's just the one. It's taught as just one okay. class. So the whole time you're learning how to weld, you're also just drawing and designing the bike. Yeah. So by, by the time you've been oh. taught how to weld, your yeah. bike is designed and ready. The design is also ready to go. And, and you get to take the bike. Yep. So this is the only, imagine taking a college class and you walk away with a bike. Yeah. And yeah. like a really good bike too. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. And your professor's name is, I forget his name, Steve. Steve. Yep. I did Steve an interview Wire. with him a while back, a couple, like maybe six months ago. He yeah. was at the Philly show. Yeah. And that was cool. So if you want to see an interview with his teacher, just look back. I'll link it or whatever. Yeah. Um, what else is going Oh, so... Okay, let me ask you this. All right, so now it's, it's recommendation time. Okay. You get to recommend. <laughs> okay, so, yeah, I always forget where we are in the interview. But anyway, so, now, I'm the, I, I am a shop teacher. You have access to the yes. shop teacher. Yeah. What do you want me to teach oh, my students? Oh, man. Yeah. Dude, welding, dude. Okay. Uh, <laughs> so like, nice. Um, TIG welding is a skill um, that's just going to be invaluable no matter if you go into anything, engineering, science, anything like that. TIG welding and welding in general is going to be a skill that's going to be helpful. Nice. Just working with your hands, and like I've started to help the recruiting team at, at my uh, employer a little bit, going to the career fairs and stuff, and we're looking for people who have hands-on experience. Wow. Like if I got a kid come up to me with a resume that on there he can talk about his projects and stuff he did in shop class in high school, mm -hmm. it's going to put him ahead of somebody who didn't work with their hands. I didn't pay you to say this. No. That's what I've been no. telling them. <laughs> You gotta talk about your projects from high school if you want to get hired. I did yeah. not give him any money to say that. <laughs> no, absolutely not. Um, I value that stuff, that that's hands-on. Cool. Yeah, absolutely. What now? You said employer. Do you work at an engineering firm? Yeah. Or um, no, I work for a manufacturing company, oh, okay. uh, Cargill. Um, oh. They they're a food, a food processing company. I'm a reliability okay. engineer, there, wow, so I'm responsible for keeping that place running sometimes. Oh, so food manufacturing? Yeah, they grind really? corn. They're a corn processing no kidding. Plant. That's so cool. Uh, you know, I, it's interesting. Automation was not mm -hmm. something. It's not something that's accessible to people. Yeah. But I got friends that work in automation, mm -hmm. and I was always curious about it. Uh, basically, it's like robots that make stuff. Yeah. In a factory. Yeah. It's so cool. So if you do a robotics really cool. program, that would help, right? Yeah. yeah programming. Yeah, programming. Um, Arduinos, man, those yeah. are sweet. Those, uh, yeah. you can, if you can write C, C language code in Arduino, we it'll have get you a robotics a instructor. We got so lucky. Yeah, that's yeah, awesome. we have one. Yeah, that's really cool, man. That's cool. That I, I need to. I didn't have any of this stuff. Yeah. Yeah, I used to go to junkyards and draw pictures of cars because I just wanted to analyze the parts. Yeah. That's how I started. Yeah. Oh my awesome. god. Well, I really like. Uh, it's great talking yeah. to you, no and I uh, appreciate it. Yeah. Uh, all right. If you're interested, well, how do they find out more information? Um, check out the University of Iowa Art and Art and History uh, website. We'll have info on this class. Nice. And, uh, check out the University of Iowa. You're thinking okay. about coming to the Midwest. I can't recommend that school more highly. Nice. So. All right. I'm Mr. G, and I'll see you later.